Hey loves and welcome back to Face of a Matter. So what you're gonna need, here to the right I just have a warm bowl of water. In order to cut your cuticles, really get down to the nitty gritty and get rid of all of the cuticles that you want, soak your nails first. So I'm just gonna leave this in for a little bit and I'm doing this kind of massaging motion all over my nails just to kind of speed up the process. I'll usually leave them in the bowl for maybe about two to three minutes, sometimes longer. If you go to the nail shop, they leave you in there for about 10 minutes, but it's not really necessary. So yeah, I just leave it in there for about two to three minutes. So next I'm gonna take this little, I honestly don't even know what these tools are called. This is something I've gotten from CVS, but I take this and I just kind of scrape in this upward motion just to kind of get the cuticles to kind of sit outward so it'll make it easier to cut them. I also take the other end and just kind of go up under them a little bit just to kind of help them poke out a little bit more. So here I'm taking a little cutter. I'm just going to start to snip away where the cuticles have grown a little bit longer than I would like them to. Um, you don't have to do them as short or as kind of close to the sensitive skin as I do, but how I want my nails to look once I paint them and all of that stuff, I do them pretty close. So I do have to be a little slow with doing this because I don't want to cut too deep to like the white meat or whatever you want to call it to make them bleed. Yes, I've done that before and it's very painful. So just if you're doing this at home, just be very careful and very easy when you are doing this step. So then I just kind of dip them back into the water and I actually do this a second time just to kind of make sure I got all of the pieces of skin and cuticles and all that that I didn't want to cut away. So you can do this about two times, roughly I do it about two times just to kind of get rid of everything that I want. And yeah, so I dry them off and this is what they look like so far. So now I'm just gonna move on into filing them. So um, usually I like to keep my nails in a square shape. That's really how I usually wear my nails. When I used to wear acrylic nails, I used to do square. So I love square, it's my favorite. Um, so I'm just gonna file them. I am gonna try to grow them out a little bit longer. And a lot of you do ask me what do I do to help them grow. And right now I don't do anything other than just what I'm showing you here. But I am interested in taking some, uh, maybe some hair and nail vitamins or um, using some nail uh, serum, like some nail growth, something like that. But I do put protectant over them, which I'll show you. So here what I'm doing is taking the other end of that little scraping tool and I'm just gonna clean out underneath my nail just to get rid of any dirt or whatever else may have been under my nails. Having long, longer natural nails, you will get a lot of dirt sometimes underneath your nail, which can be gross, especially if you don't wear polish over them. So here what I'm taking is a Sally Henson Argan Oil. This is like a clear nail enhancer. It really helps out with your cuticles and keeps your nails healthy. So I add this over, well I add this before I apply any nail polish on top and sometimes I just wear this by itself. Um, sometimes when I don't want to wear nail polish I just keep this on there. I love to keep something on my nails and this just gives like a sheer shine like nothing dramatic. But I love doing this when I don't even wear nail polish just to have something on there is key because nail polish, some kind of nail protectant or even using um, nail polish remover helps your nails grow. But like I said I don't really take any vitamins or anything like that to help them grow. So here what I'm doing is taking the Sally Henson nail polish. I can't remember the number. I think it's called birthday suit or something like that. Yeah, it's called birthday suit 110. And I just go over my nails, maybe about two or three coats. And this is the finished product. And I do put a um, clear coating on top of it just to kind of seal the nail polish. So yeah, I'll just kind of scroll through Instagram and do whatever else while they dry. And since this is a light color nail polish, it dries very quickly. So I hope this helped guys. I love you guys so much. Please subscribe and God willing, I'll see you all in my next one.